Hi, I'm Tree and this is Stitchless TV. Previously on Stitchless TV, I showed you this amazing pattern cutting technique called subtraction pattern cutting and it was developed by a guy called Julian Roberts. Now I learned how to do this technique by going on one of his brilliant courses at the London College of Fashion. Now in my video, I showed you how to make a very edgy dress to this stage using his technique. So that's the front and it has this very interesting back. Now you would usually cut it to the length that you want it to be but because I wanted to show you this next stage I've left it long. So doing this next stage gives us this very interesting line here. And the way that you do it is, you have to cut yourself out a circle. Now the best way to cut a circle is to fold over a square piece of fabric and then fold it again into quarters and then fold it again into eights. Eights, yes, eights. And then just cut a curve or draw a curve, draw a curve and then cut around it and you should end up with a shape that is more or less a circle. Now I really recommend that you mark a notch for each quarter but one of the notches you need to do two notches for because that's going to be your starting point. So two notches, two little marks for one of them and then for all the other quarters do one little notch. Now when you cut out your circle, it has to be, the diameter has to be wide enough to go up and down over your hips. So just as a guide, my hips are, I can't believe I'm gonna tell you, my goodness. <laughs> my hips are 37, no they're more like 38, they're 38. And the diameter that I'm using for my circle, that's 38 inches, is 14 inches. So that just gives, so it seems to be half of your hip size. Right, you ready? This is what we do. We open out our dress the best that we can, because it is all kind of twisted. And on just one layer, we draw out our circle. Now I know already how far up I want my curve to be. I want it to fall just beneath my bust. So my first circle, the alignment of it, so look, there are my shoulders, that's my neck, and that's my armhole there. I want mine to be about there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out this circle onto the fabric. So I'm just going to draw it with my chalk, sort of roughly. So we're doing all of this on the right side of the fabric. And I'm just using just re regular children's chalk. So I'm drawing it around. And then I am definitely, definitely marking out the notches. That's so important. And the most important the notch is this double notch here. Okay, so you end up with that. Now, what Julian says you have to do now is you've got to flip over this circle. So I could flip it that way, I could flip it whichever way I want, but in general, you go heading down the fabric, but diagonally down the fabric gives it quite a good look. So our shoulders are up here. So look at that, that's the vest top. So that's the top. I've opened out my fabric and I'm going to be flipping it over somewhere. So I think I'm gonna flip it over, over there. Now what I have found is don't make it too small a distance here because that makes it really tricky for turning. So I've flipped it over and now I'm going to draw that out. So, whoops, I'm drawing it out. 
and then when I've done it it's very very important to get that double notch in so mark out that double notch and then do those quarter notches okay so then you end up with this you've got two circles on your fabric don't make the distance there too small so I think mine is three inches maybe ten centimeters now are you there <laughs> now only cut it out of one layer one layer one layer only one layer and definitely snip into your notches okay so I'm just pinching up the fabric so I can get a grip on it and hopefully I'm going through one layer and I'm just putting a tiny little snip to signify that notch and then when I get to the bit with two notches which is the most important notch I'm going to do two notches okay so just keep working your way around your circle and then marking your notches now you understand that your notches that you make they're in the actual dress yeah they're not you don't cut into the circle you cut into the actual dress because in a minute your circle will be gone so you take away your circle and then start working on the next circle so i just moved it around a little bit um, so here, this is my neck, that's my vest top up a bit. Now where's my double notch? My double notch is there and my double notch is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand inside the dress and I'm going to make sure, so I'm going inside the dress and I'm going to make sure that my double notches, which I've just lost, <laughs> my double notches match up. So they're my double notches, they match up. And then I'm just gonna shake the dress. So I'm gonna shake it until I've got all my circle and my notches all matched up. So basically, starting at that double notch, you're gonna sew all the way around that circle. So starting at my double notch with a small seam allowance, maybe even less than a, a centimetre, small seam allowance, backs and forwards, and I'm just going to keep sewing with them both together, right sides together, and as I go along I locate my next notch. just start making my way there. So the notches, they're just like landmarks, all right? If you know where you're going in sewing, it's easy. You don't need hundreds and hundreds of pins. Right, so I've reached my first notch. So where's my next one? Look, it's over here. So I'll start making my way to the next notch. until eventually I come back on myself. Another exciting moment. So, let's turn it the right way round. So I'm going to push it through, get back to my beginning again. So where's that? The beginning is, ooh, looking interesting. So give it a really good shape. So all I did was just turn it the right way round and oh, we've, we've ended up with this brilliant shape. Right, let's try this on the dummy. So look at what you end up with. You get this really interesting line across here. Now I haven't pressed mine yet or finished it off. And you'll end up with loads and loads of excess in the sides, but all you do, you just stuff it in you know you push it inside and then afterwards you can trim off all the excess but first of all decide 
upon your your shape and your drapes and where you want to take it in a little bit or not so we've got loads of draping going on here that's that interesting peplum bit now look at this kind of bucket pocket here so where i've got this sort of so where i've got this shape here i might decide to sort of stitch it down and bring it in and make it tighter or you can just sort of leave it as it is so i've got a double bucket going on there and I just think it's amazing. Now your circle that you did you'll find you have to sort of step into it inside the dress and it makes the difference to how the dress hangs whether you have the bulk of the circle at the front or at the back so experiment with that. So that circle, you know that circle, it's all behind, look, it's all behind here. What you can do is you can just cut that circle away afterwards and, and close it off. But it's pretty good, no? Especially the back. So Remember, you, you don't have to just accept the shape, just it is. It's just like a quick, a quick start to a kind of edgy design. You know, if I wanted to try and create all this interesting draping, otherwise it would take me ages and ages. So here I had some excess, so I've just put a pin. Yes, a pin. <laughs> I use pins for draping and fittings. Um, so I've put a pin there just to hold it. To get, so it helps me see what it would look like if I was to kind of dart it or catch the seam there. But I mean, that is a fantastic technique. Now, remember, if you need to finish off the top of your vest top shape, you can watch my video tutorial of how to make a tank top finished off with ribbing. Or if you want to finish it with facings, then you need to watch my tutorial of how to make a top or a dress and finish it off with facings. Now your starting point for doing this subtraction pattern cutting, if you see in my other video, we use the vest top, but your starting point could just be the top of an A-line skirt or it could be the top of a coat and then it goes off into all these interesting shapes. It really has got just so, so many possibilities. I love it. Thank you for watching Stitchless TV Sewing Channel. And if you do any subtraction pattern cutting, share them with me on my Facebook page, Stitchless TV Sewing Channel. Or you can email me your pictures. Thank you so much for watching. There are 90, more than 90 videos on Stitchless TV, so take a look. Thank you for watching. See you again very soon. Bye.